This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Jose Sanders, Judy Sue, weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler, and Roz Verence Traffic. This is ABC 7 News this morning. For your family this morning, in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, a segment on speaking the language of love, how to improve communications between couples, and is the secret to a long-lasting marriage simply saying, yes, dear? We've heard from couples married 40 to 50 years. The husband says, yes, dear, and everything is fine in a perfect world, of course. Well, joining us this morning is relationship expert Dr. Paul Dobransky, author of several books, one of them called The Secret Psychology of How We Fall in Love. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. So let's talk about this, yes, dear. <laughs> is this feasible? Saying yes to your isn't the best way to go. <laughs> Saying yes to your makes men feel of lower rank, which makes them feel less masculine and therefore less attractive. Mm -hmm. And men saying yes to your also makes the woman feel that maybe he's not listening so much. Yeah, a little like he's patronizing her. Right, a exactly. Bit. So we've all heard that men and women speak the different languages of love. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. But let's talk about that. Is there really something to that? Can you tell us about giving us some tips on speaking the language of love? Well, for one, it's important to have a spirit of being fun and flirty when you're communicating, sometimes even if it's a serious topic, because we value each other to the degree that we express positive emotions to each other to the degree we make each other happy. That's how much we value each other. So trying to keep things fun and flirty is a good way to go. We also have a tendency to prefer touch or uh, being told or being shown that we're loved or being given gifts to show that we're loved. Mm -hmm. And knowing your partner's love language in that way is helpful as well. Give them what they need rather than what you prefer. Now this was also very interesting about the differences between the genders and how they express and expect uh, signs of love. Let's just talk a little bit about that. Right, right. Uh, men have a lot of their identity tied up in their career. So if you're a woman talking to a man and you really want him to listen, want him to care, and want him to do what you say, <laughs> <laughs> open with topics to do with his career, and especially with praising him for his career, admiring him for his career. He'll be way more motivated for whatever you say next, and probably will do it. <laughs> and same with women, too. They like a little bit of caring and respect. Yeah, to be, yeah. Uh, to be treated in a gentlemanly way, to be given resources, time, attention, listening, humor. It makes her feel more feminine, more attractive, and more attracted. Well, thank you, Dr. Paul Dobransky, for being with us, giving us some tips just ahead of Valentine's Day. Hopefully, we can plug these in on February 14th. So stick around. We'll be back with weather and traffic after this. Looking